Well, I thought I'd put together a video of the third day of my travels where I spent uh, two nights in a row and had a whole day at a wildlife refuge in southern Nevada. And it was a really pleasant place. I really enjoyed most of my stay there, but I did have some serious problems and that had to do with the battery power on my rig and also my um, the cold. It was just cold. During the day, it was nice. It was very pleasant. It got up into the high 40s, uh, low 50s. Uh, very pleasant. We did some riding on my bike. I put my bike together, put the trailer on it, put the pups on it, and we uh, traveled around one of the lakes. And then later on, we went up one lake and, and back down, down the side of it. And that was a really nice way to get out and get some exercise. And the girls really do like doing stuff like that. So we had a good day during the day. But at night, things got a little iffy. Um, the reason is that it was really cold. We're talking, um, I think it was 18 degrees the first night and maybe 20 degrees the second night. And what happens is that the camper has really bad insulation and because of that, you have to, um, when you run the heat, you're basically just ex expelling it right out the, the side walls of the camper. It's just, just an awful thing. So the heat just constantly cycles on and off, on and off. And I had it set really, really low just, just to take the chill off. And because of that, it just ran all night. And because of that, it ran down the battery. And when it ran down the battery, uh, then it starts affecting other systems like my refrigerator uh, wouldn't run because it needs DC power for the thermostat. Um, ditto for my um, water heater, for example, the ignition uh, needs electricity to get it started. I couldn't run the pump, I couldn't flush the toilet, and it was just, just awful. Now, I have a generator with me, and unfortunately, when I left home, I didn't check to make sure it had fuel on it. I always put it away with fuel in it. Uh, however, I loaned it to someone else, and he didn't do that. So when I got it here and I pulled it out of the camper that first morning, um, you know, 18 degrees out and I'm pulling and pulling and pulling and this generator always starts at the, the first or second pull and it just wasn't starting and then I duh, figured it out. It had no fuel in it or very little fuel, enough fuel to get it started finally and then it would just peter right out. Um, and of course I had to, I had a little fuel can with me but I did not fill it up because I'm an idiot. So um, I wound up having to batten down the hatches, uh, drive out to the, the local gas station, which was only five miles. It wasn't a big deal. Um, get the fuel, bring it back, get everything started. Um, and that, you know, got us up and running that first morning. Well, by the end of the day, uh, between the solar panels and having the generator running a little bit in the evening before I, I shut it down for the night, um, I thought I had enough power to run the heater overnight again, and, and same thing happened. I had it set down really super low, and once again, I ran out of power, and all my poor dogs were just shivering. Even uh, once I got the place warmed up again after starting the generator at an ungodly hour, 6 o'clock, um, I was able to get the, the place warmed up, and, and poor Rosie was just shivering for about an hour afterwards. So I decided that I needed to, I looked at the weather, and I decided that the weather was gonna get cold again. There was a winter storm watch coming through, the possibility of snow, uh, another cold night, uh, and I decided that I'm just gonna go find a place where I can plug in and uh, get, the, the, uh, get us all comfortable um, for the time that we were going to be uh, camping through this storm. Um, so then the next the next morning, uh, that would be the morning of the, I guess it was the 13th, uh, Monday morning, I, I packed everything up and left. So I do have some video, which I've showed you, of us going around the lake, but I really didn't take very many pictures. Um, it, was, it was pleasant, but um, uh, at the evening, the nighttime stuff was just, just killing us, so. That's the story. I hope you find this interesting. I don't know. Uh, it's one of the drawbacks of boondocking, and I normally do not camp out in weather this cold. Normally, the low temperature I deal with is usually around 30. If it drops below 30, I consider that cold. So getting below 20 was killer, was just absolutely killer. So next time I'm uh, set up in a place where the weather's going to get cold, I'll have the generator all prepped before I go to bed, and hopefully I'll be in a remote area where if I have to start the generator at 5 a.m., I won't be bothering anyone else. So 
anyway, that's the story. I'll have more about my trip from the Wildlife Refuge to Valley of Fire State Park in the next video. So tune in. Bye.